Okay, now that we've got our base plate, that's actually our resting plate that's going to hold our cell phone in the position that we want, what we need to do now is to modify the distance from here to that edge. So let's first go find that particular um, mate there. Let's go to view mates and let's see if we can find it. I don't think that I grabbed the right one. I, I could, here's how I just quickly roll my mouse over and you can kind of review and see what's going on there. Nah, that's not the one. So what I'm going to do is rotate this guy around. I'm kill that one window there, get it out of there. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on this edge. I'll come out here and I'll view, I'll view mates. Oh, it looks like we got something here. Okay. There's a mate right there. There's a mate right there. Obviously, you can see that mate is uh, probably the one we want. So we'll go up here and select that and we'll edit it. So once it opens it up, it says it's at an inch and a half. Well, to better see that, let's go ahead and set ourselves to the back view so we can experiment with the distances. I'm going to take and drag this out of the way so it's not interfering with our view of what we're doing. I'll drag this down. So to experiment, I'm just going to go ahead and hit my up arrow and see as it moves forward. Well, that looks pretty good. Just keep doing it, keep doing it until I find really what I want. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is just kind of eyeballing this here in the center. Maybe one more. Okay. If that's not what we want, we can always come back and change it. Now here's an important consideration. First of all, you're going to come back and drill two holes, or four holes through this base plate, which is good. Then you're going to get a screw, and you're going to screw it down into a piece of wood that's, that's your, actually your base that the whole phone assembly uh, stand here sets onto. Well, that's all good too. Problem is, can I get a screwdriver down here with this edge that comes off right here where the phone actually rests on? And can I get a screwdriver here at the back? Because if you zoom out on this a little bit, that screwdriver may interfere with that. Well, right now, I'm going to say that's pretty much what I want, 2.2 inches, and I'm going to accept that mate. Now, when I accept that mate and, and close that screen off right there, you can see everything that you need. If you're not sure about whether or not that that's going to work, here's a simple way to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, rebuild our model, and let's save our model. And now we'll come back with a uh, centerline sketch. And it says select a plane. Well, I'll just grab that surface there. I'm not going to really use this. I'm just using this to see what I need to see. Okay, so I've got that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say vertical. I'm going to say infinite. I'm just going to basically kind of eyeball this, drag it up over here, and drag this back here. Well, if I'm about an eighth of an inch off the edge of the base plate going to my left, as you see here, then I would have to say that my screwdriver is going to be able to get to that just fine. When you design, you always have to consider how you make stuff. It's one thing if you can design anything, but at the end of the day, can you make it? Well, in this case, I think we can. I will say that on the Floor to Lee version, which I'll show some images and videos of that later, that was pretty hard to get that screw in because it just swung back over to where I was actually putting my screw in. So I had to actually screw it in at pretty much of a weird angle. But eventually I got it in and the phone stands look really good. So we're going to say that's sufficient. We're going to go ahead and set ourselves to a, oh, what is that, a trimetric view? Let's try, let's try that view. Ooh, I like that. So I'll hit my F key to center up and I'll actually zoom up a little bit closer here. I'll rebuild my model and I will save my model. Now, one last consideration you're probably thinking of, well, why don't you have the scallops cut out on that? Well, that's a good point. Why don't I have the scallops cut out? Again, we're designing to manufacture. We're not designing to prototype a product. If I was prototyping a product, then I would come in and use, uh, over on my sketch command, I would use any of these three-point arc slots or center point arc slots to come in and make these real pretty little scallops. Well, that's great, and it would look good, and it would be awesome. But I'm making this. So when I make this, I have to understand how my tooling works. And in this case, how does my plasma cutter cut? Well, my plasma cutter cuts either with a lead-in line or a lead-out line. So that really wouldn't work, one of these. What I'll do is when I export the drawing of this particular part right here into Adobe Illustrator, I will put a vector, an arc in here, 
and as I put my arcs in here to denote the scallops that we saw on the actual Seminole logo, Arrowhead logo, just putting the arc in will allow my laser, uh, excuse me, my plasma cutter to come in and snap onto that particular arc and then cut out a slot automatically with about of a, a little over a sixteenth inch curve which will give me that visual effect that I want for my arrowhead. You're probably thinking, wow, this is way too much information. Well, you're probably right. But as we go through this make process and you follow along with me, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's stop for now. Mm -hmm.